Well, hi guys, I'm Liam Berry. Welcome to Alcan ADV. Today I'm at Longmere Lake. This is just outside of Soldotna, Alaska, in between Soldotna and Sterling, and uh, a lot of float planes around here. Anyway, today we're going to be talking about this chair, the A Light Mayfly, uh, and a couple of other things, but we'll get into that right after this. <laughs> So before we get into the chair review, uh, I have a couple of announcements. First, I am now on Instagram. I left off the social media stuff for uh, quite a while, I guess, but I guess it's time. It's our modern age and all that. Anyway, I'll put a link down in the description and uh, you guys can check that out if you want. It'll be, uh, you know, every day, every couple of days, something like that. Little snippets of what I'm doing and life in Alaska, I guess. The other thing I'm going to be doing before we get to the chair review, at least this chair review, is uh, I'm going to put in here a shameless plug for uh, my Uncle Steve's tree chairs. Now, my Uncle Steve lives down in Illinois. I met with him on the trip. He was on the channel a little bit. Um, but he makes boat covers for a living. He does uh, industrial weight sewing with all the hottest and heaviest fabrics that you could possibly imagine. Anyway great business down there it's the Great Lakes in Chicago and all that well he came up with this design and, and uh, a few other companies have copied him now and made it pretty popular but this is uh, the tree chair and I'll put a picture up here um, basically it's a chair that you hang from a tree or from under your front porch or in your living room if you want to and uh, I can vouch for the fact that this is the most comfortable thing you're ever gonna sit in Anyway, we have a couple of these chairs, and of course it's a treat when you go down to Uncle Steve's because then you get to sit in the treat chairs, but anyway, uh, any of you guys want one of these, uh, just go ahead and shoot me an email. My email's down in the description, and uh, I'll put you in touch with them, and you can work it out from there. So now on to the other chair. This uh, doesn't hold a candle to the treat chairs, but uh, it's pretty comfortable, and you can stash it on a motorcycle. So there's a lot of this style of chair coming out, uh, and... I don't know, it must have been just the technology that came out at the time or something, but there's just this um, flood of all these different um, lightweight backpacking chairs. Anyway, this is my favorite. It's, it's just the most comfortable to me, but you know, to each his own, I guess. There's, there's all kinds of different seating positions, and this one's just the one that suits me best. So this is the Mayfly by A-Light, and uh, I've got the bag in here somewhere. That's how big it packs down, and it is uh, a little smaller than the bag. It's not too much smaller, but anyway, a light. This is the chair, and uh, as you can see, it doesn't have any legs. It just has these two and then the bar across the front. This is different than another one of their chairs because of this bar. Um, they have another chair that is really close. It's not quite identical, but it doesn't have the bar here, and uh, the idea is you just sit in it and you stabilize it with your feet and it's great it's really comfortable the thing is I don't want to have to stabilize something I want to just sit and not worry about it also this is a little bit uh, less likely to sink into sand like I've got here or you know whatever than uh, say ones with the four feet on them so this chair isn't really too expensive compared to most of the comparable chairs out there I think this one retails for about $79 something like that we ended up getting this one on sale for, I think, 50 or 60. Um, you know, do your shopping. Don't just buy something on a whim and you'll save some money. Anyway, uh, I'm gonna take it down and show you how to take it down and then how to put it back up again. So it's pretty straightforward, just like the rest of them. Pop the thing off. This one folds up into two pieces. So it's got this part and then this part. There's your poles. Then you got your fabric, whatever it is. Try to make this tight. And as you 
can see, you know, there's a little slop in the bag and there's not, uh, you know, that's not bad. And I think it weighs about one and a half pounds, one and a quarter pounds, something like that. I'm not sure on the weight. Anyway, put it up, you just reverse the procedure. So there you have the A-Light Mayfly chair. Um, honestly, I haven't used it uh, a whole lot. I got it late enough in the trip that I was mainly just hopping from people's house to people's house and uh, I wasn't just camping off in the woods a lot so I didn't have a lot of use for it. But uh, the times that I have used it, man, it's comfortable and uh, you're just so glad it's there when you do use it anyway. Well, that wraps up this video. Uh, I'll leave a link for this chair down in the description. Uh, I don't know, REI or anywhere that sells camping stuff will have it. And uh, be sure to send me an email about those uh, tree chairs if that's something that interests you. Anyway, we'll see you next week. And until uh, then, you guys ride safe. See ya.